climate change matters because it has huge human health impacts. Asia Pacific is probably where the majority of natural disasters happen. The problem is man-made disasters exacerbates natural disasters. If you put fatalities with the economic losses, the top 10 countries, six of them are in Asia Pacific. Myanmar, Philippines, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Thailand, Vietnam. Typhoon Haiyan, which hit the Philippines in 2013, was one of the worst typhoons ever hitting the country. Recently, Cyclone Mocha hit the border between Bangladesh and Myanmar, one of the strongest cyclones that ever hit that region. This is probably one of the worst, destroying camps. Vector-borne diseases are especially important when there's warming in the environment. The mosquitoes tend to travel further, to live longer, and that means you have more and more cases of malaria. It's predicted that 15 million more cases will be in the coming years on an annual basis with 30,000 deaths linked to that dengue. We'll have an average of 1 billion more people affected across the world. Last year we've seen cholera outbreaks in at least 30 countries, which is unheard of in the last decades, especially in areas that had eradicated it but now is back. The heat waves can also cause worsening of air pollution and therefore more respiratory issues, more heart diseases, which makes those who are already affected by these more vulnerable. Many climate hotspots are humanitarian hotspots where we've worked for years and we are seeing this becoming much more complex and cascading into other emergencies. Kiribati in the coming years will be probably sinking because of seawater level rise. We're all trying to work with the government to see how they can adapt and respond better. One of the things we're doing in support of small island states is speaking at climate conferences to raise awareness on what is ahead. There will be a significant loss and damage because they cannot flee when they're flooded over. MSF is really looking at how we do our carbon reduction mitigation practices, our waste management, but we're also working to adapt our operations, creating more early warning system tools that are connected. Initiatives to really work with the communities is really important. The communities are the first responders. We need to actually empower their capacity to do that. The other is innovative tools. How do we combine artificial intelligence to actually bring together different data, better predict where disaster would hit or where a burden of disease would rise. We need to make people understand that our behaviors are part of the problem and we need governments and those who are most responsible to also help address this today to help those who are most vulnerable.